Okay, I'm here with Mr. Jeremy Goldson. Kyle. So what is your game plan for this game? Uh, you know, I've never played with, with, with Coach and my main man, Mr. Gross, but they got size, they got strength, you know, maybe run some pick and rolls. Schaefer's like 13 feet tall, so we just got to give him the ball with the clear look of the basket. Then when the double team happens, kick it to me and then probably miss. Schaefer get a rebound, kick it back to me. I hit one out of four or five. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling pretty confident. I have noticed that you're a bit on the short side. Oh, God. That's an understatement. And I got no ups. But my basketball IQ, high, y'all. Are you going to stick to the paint? No, that's a terrible idea. That's what Schaefer's for. Good Lord, have you seen him? Man's got a rear end the side of a VW bug. Are you excited for the game? You know, I always like to play basketball. I'll play against anybody. And, and I do love, I love the chance to play with those dudes who I really like and I've never played with. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it's my job. I get to go to class and play basketball for 15 minutes. You kidding me? I'm totally excited. Watch. Here's what happened. Here's the thing, though. I got this knee problem. So when I come out with the brace, Schaefer's going to be like, oh, what's up with you? You're injured. I'll be like, come on. At least I'm not old. He'll be like, whoa. I'm not very fast. You said I was short. Yeah. I'm not very fast. I used to be fast. I can't jump at all, but I got my skills are okay. And I, you know, I think we'll find some mismatches, hit some shots. What I'm really worried about is that it takes me about a half hour to warm up because I'm old. So I'm gonna have to stay in the game for a little while until I get my shot going. Otherwise, otherwise it could be close. Can you sing some mad threes? After about 40 minutes of shooting. Yeah, it depends on the day. Every now and then I'll hit those mad threes. Do you think your old age will help you in this game? Experience, absolutely. You know, a little bit of experience, a little bit of basketball savvy. I mean, champ's like 14, so just give, we, got, we got a real advantage on him. Apparently, Griffin shoots crazy. Oh, man, the question, you should put a mic on me because I'm going to get in Griffin's head so fast. Can we mic someone up? No, it would break the microphone. Uh, uh, Jonah, Jonah's a big boy, uh, but what's he, like 17? 16 and a half? Yeah. Man, you, could, you add up any two of the people, and they're still like 10 years younger than me. I'm here with Mr. Gross. Hey, how's it going? I'm going great. So, what is your game plan for playing basketball against these young, spry students? I'm hoping that I can get some time in to stretch so that I don't hurt myself. Uh, do you think you have any advantages over the students? Um, I think that I might have a little bit of size, so just kind of bodying up and, you know, getting some easy shots in the paint is my goal. Hello, everyone. I'm Dylan Eford for Educators versus Educate Sports. here with the rookie, the student, Jonas Stritchard. How you doing, Dylan? I'm doing excellent, Jonah. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like we're going to get a win. Anyway, who's on your team this year? All right, so we have uh, Griffin Leonard as a shooter. He needs to pass the ball a little bit more, and I think uh, – if he does, we can get a win to the, or whenever we play. Nice, nice. And what are you going to plan on for your game plan against these teachers? Uh, really, we got to contain. There's a lot of height advantage, uh, especially because of uh, Doug Schaefer, who he's got to be like 6'7". Yeah. So we really have height-wise one, one of the three matchups uh, covered. We got tip off here, Champ versus Doug Schaefer. Height advantage there goes to Schaefer, obviously. Tips it, a little too far, Gross saves it. It's gonna be teacher's ball. No look pass there to Schaefer, beautiful. Nice pick set there. Pick and roll is it to pass, but no good. Schaefer has it, pass it to Gross for an easy bucket. So far the teacher's working really well together. Doug there with an epic celebration. Love the energy, get some hype going. Great way to start the game, I have to say. Yes, indeed, as uh, Griffin throws it out to Champ, who goes in. Under the legs of Colson, Jonah puts it up, and it's actually good. Something we didn't quite expect from Jonah from such a distance. Mr. Gross has the ball. Going up, looks like he's about to slam that boy in, but in fact, lays it up. Got the ball back for the teachers. Looks like Colson was fouled there, but doesn't look like the ref's going to call that. Nice pass to Jonah. Jonah's. Probably definitely fouled there. I don't know what this ref's thinking, but I think that was a foul. Jonah was just swatted into the next dimension oh, by there the we go. towering well, gonna man. Shoot some shots. First shot, no good. Off back rim. What a break. Goes up for his second shot. 
He's not 50% after that wet one. Gross with an easy lane. Loses his dribble, but puts the basket back up. Very dominant thus far for the teachers. Yes, indeed. Golson showing some flashy dribble moves, some nice passing. The teacher's passing game is brilliant. Then nice behind the back lob. Pass over to Goldson, but he breaks it again. Champ with the stutter steps, but falls short. Jonah gets fouled heavy again. He's going to shoot more shots. So far, it's 50% from the line. Let's see if he can up that percentage. He is now 25%. Well, actually, guys, 33.33 repeating percent. <laughs> Silly old me. Wow, one for four. Now it's 25%. My bad, Kyle. I guess I was just trying to predict the future. Yeah, it's crazy how you can do that sometimes, dude. I know. It's crazy. Griffin's got it from deep, and it... Wow. Hard brick there. Gross grabs that rebound. So far, teacher's just killing the game against these students. Oh, beautiful pass again. Looks like it's missed, though. He gets it before it goes out of bounds, however. Misses the easy layup. Doug Shaver puts it back up and gets himself some more points. So far, Doug dominating on the teacher's team over these uh, puny mortals in That's comparison. That's why they call him uh, Dominant Doug. Yes, indeed. Oh my god, what a wet shot there from Dominant Doug. Now that was an insane shot. That was far out. I cannot believe he made that. Such prowess. Champ's got it, and he falls, and that goes out of bounds. Just looks like a pure lack of athleticism. Asking for a foul. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. The ref is just cold-hearted today against these students. Doug here has got passing. the lob pass, and it's going to be kicked out to Gross. Deep two, and that goes in. No problem. Splash. So far, teachers are dominating the shooting scene over the students. And the students now upset with another call by the refs looking for a foul or something of the like and don't get it. Exactly. Goldson passing to trusty old dominant dog. Oh my god, he makes Jonah. Jonah got absolutely destroyed there and dominated. And he falls over there just to prove that he's being dominated. Goldson puts up another brick. Griffin from deep. That form was atrocious. Barely hits the glass, not even close to the rim. Champ with the ball here, going against Goldson, trying to take on his team. Griffin from deep again, and to no avail. No surprise there, Kyle. Nah, Griffin's missed, uh, you know, one out of every billion shots oh, actually goes in. It's crazy how he can do that. I know, it takes a lot to miss all the time. Indeed. Beautiful release there by Doug. Beautiful. On defense, too. Goldson out on the wing. Intercepted pass by Griffin. And he puts, puts it, it up, up again. And oh, that's his first Actually shot goes of the game. In. That's his one and a billion for this game. Starts his hot streak, Kyle. Or cold. Nice wet shot there by Jeremy G. Doug Shaver from deep pops it up. No problem. Teachers celebrating a well-fought victory over the students. Students dominate the entire time by uh, these uh, older gentlemen. Yes, in fact, Kyle, as we saw, the uh, students kind of played a little bit of a selfish ball. We saw um, Griffin and Champ being the main ball handlers. When, um, however, Jonah was the best scorer when he got into the paint. We saw Griffin only make one shot out of like 317, and Champ just wasn't very efficient with the ball. But as we saw on the teacher side, I think we saw a lot of ball sharing. We saw passes from Gross to Goldson to Schaefer, and then flip that rack, same thing. We got some uh, very talented scores in Schaefer and Gross, and pretty good passing by the three of them together as well. I think the real difference here was the experience of the teachers. Their age and their knowledge of games and just general working well together really proved the outcome here. I definitely agree there, Kyle. Thank you. That'll wrap it up for us. Thanks for tuning in, fellas.